Welcome to Chopstick Travel, I'm Luke Martin and today I'm in Sri Lanka. So I'm heading from the capital city of Colombo to the northern city of Jaffna. We're just about to board this small plane here. It's gonna be about an hour flight, should be pretty scenic along the way. I'm with Chiminda hey. and Mink in the back here. Alright, let's go to Jaffna. Alright, welcome to Jaffna. That was just about an hour ride. Very smooth. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for flying with us. That was a charter flight from Colombo. Just one hour on Cinnamon Air. Very scenic, very smooth, and welcome to Jaffna. Okay, this is my second time actually to the city of Jaffna here, situated at the very tip, northern point of Sri Lanka. And we popped into a legendary place here in Jaffna called the Malayan Cafe. We're just having a quick cup of tea before we start the real reason we've come to Jaffna. So this trip to Sri Lanka, we're going to be learning all about the culture and the food and the life of the fishermen here in Sri Lanka. So today we're going to be experiencing how they do it in the north. So the north of Sri Lanka is distinctly different than the south of Sri Lanka. The people here in the north are Tamil. Their language is Tamil. So it's different than the south where uh, the predominant language is Sinhalese. The culture is different, the food's different. So we're going to be catching and cooking some seafood uh, Jaffna style, Tamil style. We're going to be then later on our trip in Sri Lanka heading south, stopping in the center of Sri Lanka in the Sigiriya area, seeing how they do things differently there, and then finally in the southern coast of Sri Lanka to see how they are preparing it there in the south, all with their distinct flavors and tastes. Just starting our trip here with a beautiful cup of tea, and it's kind of interesting how they do it. They actually pour the tea into this little cup because this one's hot and then I guess you just sip it out of here. So the first step to cooking any seafood here is to go catch some seafood. So we've come down to the coast, the beautiful turquoise waters of the Indian Ocean in front of us and we're going to jump in this boat right here Take it out to this little weir that they've got. They've got a net out there that has some crabs in it, hopefully, and we're gonna dive down to get those crabs to cook up a traditional Jaffna style dish. Let's go. In order to get out to the net, we're going to take that red uh, motorized boat, the bigger boat, and then to enter into the net, because that one's too big to go inside, we have to get onto this much smaller traditional Sri Lankan catamaran, and it's basically three tree trunks that they've shaved down. They're just tying it together right now with some uh, rope. Very simple style, very traditional. They don't really do it like this anymore. But uh, in order to get inside of the net, we can't use a motorized boat, so we're gonna have to get on this thing. So we're not too far offshore. I don't know, maybe just like 300 meters offshore. And I'm gonna transfer onto the small wooden catamaran now. We just anchored up here on the red boat. And let's get in the water and dive, get some crabs.
Okay, they just pulled up uh, the net that they circled around the weir and a couple small fish. Uh, I think they have to dive down for the crab, so I'm gonna give the GoPro over to one of these more professional guys. The visibility is pretty terrible in there, but these guys are pros, so we're eating. That's all that matters. Juicy. Come on, juicy. All right, we didn't come back empty-handed, luckily. That was hectic, to say the least, trying to film uh, in the wavy water on that tiny little floating raft, but these guys are pros. They've certainly done this before, and we're going to be preparing a Jaffna specialty with all the seafood we just got. It's called Cool Soup. It's the must-try dish here in Jaffna. Before we start cooking the cool, we are having a little bit of a barbecue, fresh barbecue with some of the crabs and uh, fish that we just caught. They just put it on the charcoal. And then this guy here's got something interesting. This is the palmyra tree root. Okay, so you peel it first. And then you can eat the inside? Okay, let's try. Hmm. So this is the palmyra tree it's a palm tree that's very popular. It pretty much dominates the landscape here in Jaffna. This is the root of the baby young palmyra tree. It's like a starchy potato almost. Mm, a little snack. Good. So the barbecue of all the crabs and fresh seafood that we just caught. It's finished cooking, here's the final result. We've got a couple crabs, a couple of fish, and then this is the, the palmyra root that I was just eating, and this is kind of unique. I've, I've never heard of this before. This is a salad made of that same uh, root, that palmyra root, and then mixed with some onions, some spices and whatnot, but let's try to break open one of these crabs here, have a little snack. I am starving after being out on the boat and trying to catch it. It's hard work. Those guys really work hard. Oh, let me try to break this. Shell back, there we go. Quite a bit of meat on there, surprising small little crab, but oh my gosh. Wow, the natural flavor, really sweet, and that ocean kind of saltiness. Mm. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of flavor packed in there, even though there was no spices added. Mm. Man, that crab is so sweet. And then with the sound of the waves in the background, I think it makes it taste even better. <laughs> okay, let's try this unique Palmyra salad. Oh, it's really sticky. You see some onions in there and all the fibers. Mmm. Yum. And this is like super healthy, full of vitamins, nutrients, fiber. This is just a snack before we cook the main course, but let's have a, a drink before we go start cooking that cool soup. Thank you so much. So this is toddy which is made from the, the same thing as that root over there, that palmyra plant, thank you so much. Yeah. You drink like this? Yep. Yeah, okay. So this is an alcoholic drink, it's fermented. We filmed a whole video about it the last time I was in Jaffna. They climb up the tree, they extract the, the sap that uh, they cut from the, the top of the tree and then it kind of drip, drip, drips and then ferments up there and then you're left with this beautiful toddy which is famous here in Sri Lanka, especially in Jaffna. 
Yeah, it's got a little bit of a fermented, but it's sweet. Yeah, it's yeah. delicious. It's, it's really good. It's how much alcohol? Maybe like 5%? 5%, yeah. So it's like a light beer. Mm. Drinking it, at, right? This is the Palmyra leaf, too, right? Everything Palmyra here in Jaffa. So the cool soup is kind of like a seafood stew. You can pretty much put anything from the ocean into the cool. So we've got a bunch of crabs and some uh, fish. This lady right here is scaling and cleaning the fish and she's got this specialized knife that she actually holds with her foot to do the uh, descaling and uh, cleaning of the fish. It looks like mackerel. And luckily for us, because we only caught about five or six crabs and we just cooked them up to eat them, we also bought uh, some extra crabs to have with our cool soup. So for our veggies, we're uh, putting some long beans, some long green beans into the soup. And then for our starch, we've got cassava. So he's just peeling back the cassava now. So the green beans, the cassava, and the crabs and the fish all go into the pot of boiling water. And in the meantime, while that's boiling away, we also have another snack cooking. So it's a variety of uh, banana or plantain called ash plantain. And he just put a little bit of salt, a little bit of chili powder, and then fries it up real quickly into a, a little plantain chip. So let's try those out while we wait for the cool. We got a big pot of the cool soup cooking away, and in the meantime, I've got some the uh, little plantain chips with a little bit of chili and salt. Oh, those are awesome! Super crispy, a little bit sweet, and then of course with the salt and the chili. But this is going to be the main highlight. Check this out. Just packed full of seafood, and then he's going to add in the rice, the rice, and of course all the beans and cassava. Give that a mix. Oh man, that is so good looking. So many crabs in there. And these are awesome, super tasty. So we just added in the key ingredient, the, the spice mixture. So the spice mixture is also containing the palmyra root starch. So that gives it this super thick, thick texture you can see there. There's also some tamarind in there to give it a little bit of a sourness. All of those crabs and that fish and the veggies. And now it's just completely exploded with color and flavor and scent. It just smells incredible. And this is gonna cook down for quite a while now and we'll come back and taste it. Oh man, I am hungry, that looks so good. I just realized that I haven't given Shiminda a proper introduction from the Sri Lankan Tourism Board. Every single time I come here, this is the guy that's helping me make awesome videos. This is Sri Lanka, guys. <laughs> yeah, this amazing. Sri Lanka. You'll come back again because there's so much to see. There are a million reasons to visit Sri Lanka. <laughs> yeah, so the cool soup is finished cooking away. It's got that thick texture now you can see from that uh, palmyra root starch. And one thing I love about Sri Lanka is you won't see plastic anywhere here. Served right in the palmyra leaf and they don't cheat with the staple either. Like some countries like to serve things in a leaf but then they staple it together. No, this one's actually tied perfectly up with some more of the palm leaf. And yeah, this is the, the moment I've been waiting for. So let's taste it out. Ooh, yeah, it's got a kick. Definitely a little bit spicy, thick and creamy. You get little pieces of fish in there. There's also the bones and the shells of the crab in there, so you gotta kind of watch it, but it gives it a little bit extra flavor. And then pieces of the cooked rice as well that they put in there. Mmm, yeah, that is rich and hearty. Man, that's got a ton of flavor. 
and definitely a little bit spicy. Apparently it goes good with a bite of coconut after to sort of cool the spice down. Yeah, yum. Oh, it's actually super delicious. I love how thick it is from that starch. It's more of a stew really than a soup. Mm -hmm. Do you eat it with your fingers? There's pieces of uh, cassava in there as well. Ooh, it's hot. I might go in there with my fingers. Oh gosh. Burn myself. There we go. Mm. Oh, really uh, kind of gooey, starchy cassava. Man. That is really phenomenal. Let's try to get a piece of fish here. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yum. Yum. Don't be worried. We didn't cook that whole pot of cool for ourselves. We have lots of people here to help us eat. Hey, hi. How is it? Very good, man. Good? Super. It's amazing. This is really fresh spiciness. This is amazing. Only can you can experience this in Jaffna. With this Jaffna. You can't eat this in combo, can you? Uh, you can, but then again, it, it, gonna be, it won't be like, like having it in Jaffna. Right? Authentic, yeah. yeah. You gotta go to a Jaffna restaurant if you want exactly. it in combo, okay. Yeah. I taste the spice and the fish is really, really good. And I'm gonna cheese this with this coconut. Yeah. Everything always tastes better when you put in some effort to get the fresh seafood yourself. I mean, I gotta give up to those uh, fishermen for doing the real work, but yeah, so much more fresh, so much flavor in that fish. Mm -hmm. Yum. What does it remind you of? Well, it actually reminds me of one Thai food we call gangso. I don't know how to explain it to you guys. Like, what is it like? Well, it looks like this. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this. And, it tastes and like they put fish and shrimp, and it has a little bit of spice, which I really, really like it. This is really cool. They put it in this little palm boat. Yeah. Is it so spicier cool. than gangso? Less no, spicy. I think same, same. What an experience that was to see them catch the fresh seafood and then having it on our, well, not our plate, but our palm leaf. So flavorful too. Sri Lankan food is just incredibly delicious and rich. Just so much spice and flavor going on in there. So we're nice and full, but I think we got room for dessert. So we're going to leave the beautiful coast of Jaffna, Northern Sri Lanka, head back to Jaffna city and have some ice cream. A1 Raja Cream House. Uh, since 1973, this is the ice cream spot. There's another really famous place here in Jaffna that I tried last time called Rio. We decided to try something different. These guys have been around since 1973. We value your frozen cravings. That's their slogan. I like it. And I got the normal chocolate because I'm boring. Mm. Oh, this is perfect for the end of a hot, hot day. Fishing, cooking near the beach. Oh man, this is good. Really good ice cream and we've come back to our hotel. This hotel is the Jetwing Mahesha Bawan. It's a beautiful boutique hotel. There's only four rooms. It's an old building that they restored, a colonial architecture building right in the center of Jaffna and they've got this sweet swimming pool right here and well there's only four rooms and we've occupied two of them so there's absolutely nobody here so let's jump in for a swim Woo, seriously refreshing and it is hot here in Jaffna what an incredible day I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is just the first episode from our new series here in Sri Lanka 2024. My third visit to this incredible country. Their slogan is you'll come back for more and it's absolutely true because I just keep coming back here and I keep exploring and keep discovering so much more food and culture and the people here are just so incredibly friendly. So thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed today's episode. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.